Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning to the Life of Signatures Radio. This is a daily show, a daily podcast where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience every time you come to this show. Any day there is a subject matter that is being addressed. It could be in terms of a series. And the subject matter we are dealing with in this season, we're talking about street smartness. There are different aspects of discussion that we're looking at. But as of now, we're looking at if you were to choose between being a street smart and being a book smart, what would you choose? If you were to choose it for your child, what would you choose? What would you go for? And so on. And I gave you my answer about two or so episodes back. And I said, I'll go for street smart. And I'm trying in the past two episodes to just tell you why. Why I will choose to be street smart and uh, today we have an opportunity to go and look at another reason as to why I will choose to be street smart. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the year, I think, uh, earlier than 2019, uh, earlier than 2018, uh, somewhere around 2017 or something like that, or just before that, or much, much earlier than that, the current president of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoy Ruto, started his campaigns, and he campaigned for the presidency on the premise that the country or the country Kenya is a hustler nation. His premise was that very many people uh, going for leadership and year in and year out, decade in and decade out, it's been about dynasties and not about the local people whom he chose to call hustlers. People voted for him and so on and he won and so on and so forth. The idea of being a hustler in my opinion, is totally different from being street smart. A hustler is a different ballgame altogether. I am not talking about hustlers in this uh, uh, series because street smartness cuts across. In other words, you can be book smart, but you are street smart. And you can be quote-unquote a hustler But you are still street smart. In fact, you can be a hustler and you are not street smart. I mean, there are very many of those. Such examples are those ones who copycat. They are not street smart. There are very many people who are calling themselves hustlers, but they are not street smart at all. So one of the reasons as to why I chose street smartness is that it takes less time to develop. Book smartness takes at least two decades, or at the very bare minimum, one and a half decades to develop. The second reason as to why I I chose, and we talked about this yesterday, uh, street smartness is it cuts across. You can use the attitude of street smartness just about anywhere in any country. We look at the we looked at the example of Matt Morris, the dare of Matt Morris. But today I want us to go deeper and talk about something else, about this street smartness. Number three, it cultivates potential. I tell you, I can camp on this one and I can talk about potential 
all day long. I can talk about potential a month of Sundays all day long talking about this subject matter. To be book smart and to be street smart, which one deploys potential more? I will tell you without battling an island, it is street smartness. Because with street smartness, you are you are compelled, that's the key word, you are compelled to look within you and unearth that which is of value into this society. And to look into the society and unearth those who need that value. And to look within you once again and to unearth how you're going to package that value. And then to look at the society and begin and add how you're going to present that value to them. It is basically pummeling you with excavating the very best of your potential. And I have one bone to pick with the book smartness. It is simply this. The systems that churn out book smart people, they have seldom been organized seldom been organized to help people to maximize their potential. Seldom. I mean, they don't care who you are, how special you are in terms of your unique gifts and unique talents. You've got to sit in the same class with just about everybody else. And very few people from the book smart systems are able to tap into their natural talents, natural gifts, and just natural potential and just, just excel. The rest who cannot do it, yet they still have potential. They are segregated. You, I, when I use the word segregated, you think I am just being dramatic. There is silent segregation against potential in the book smart systems. Because all the book smart system wants is someone who is book smart, period. Not someone who can solve a problem. Not someone who can deploy their unique gifts and unique talents. Not someone who can look at things in a different way. In fact, it wants to be structured. The book smart system wants to be replicated without any shadow. And I know of professors. Or at least I've heard of professors who, when they give a question, they want you to quote verbatim from a particular book. They want you to regurgitate. That's what book smartness is all about. That doesn't deploy potential. It doesn't. It doesn't deploy your potential. To be street smart, however, one obviously has to be to, 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 to decide to cultivate their potential. One has to depend on their potential. One has to lean on to their potential. And you see, you cannot survive in the streets trying to do that which you hate or that which does not come naturally to you. You gravitate towards that which you are passionate about. And of course, there are some times that you will have to do that which you hate. But you don't do them for the rest of your life. You are going to graduate from there. And that's the beauty of expanding your potential. You see, you cannot survive in the streets without just having an idea that I am gifted in this way. And this world needs this gift in this way. That's how you do it. Your potential is one of the greatest assets that you have to be a street smart person. It, street smartness relies heavily on your potential. So much heavily on that potential. And you start learning not only how to develop it, but also how to harness it and to add value to society and to solve problems. You're always going back there and exploring ex exp exploring it and, and expanding it and deploying it. And for the most part, to be book smart is to be filled with knowledge about theories and concepts, about history and science, and basically not necessarily doing anything about your potential. That's the sorriest thing ever. But to be street smart the 
what do they call it the raw material for street smartness is your potential there is always a missing link between school and relevance and that is where street smartness comes in because it goes on to adding these theories and these concepts that you've learned it adds on the attitude of problem solving the attitude of potential deploying and potential exploration and it sends you into this world as a solution provider that's what street smartness is all about book smartness it still needs to evolve it used to be a thing and quickly and continuously it's being eroded and it's being caught out when you hear big time organizations like google ibm and so on even microsoft i think these are technical organizations mind you these are highly technical organizations when you hear such organizations saying that they do not necessarily need a degree for you to work for them then you realize that this book smartness thing is being caught out slowly but surely and slowly but surely the numbers are speaking for themselves the number of people that are book smart but do not provide solutions into this world are many the ratio is just too much tomorrow we might bring this to a conclusion this mini series within the larger series of book smartness why i am choosing to be street smart instead of book smart but until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.